So I work for a company called Conergy. We're a German company out of Hamburg, and we've been in this business for 15 years. Because it's new, a new sector in the UK and Ireland, we haven't seen all these problems yet, but we will see them. Uh, the German market's been going for 15 odd years, and we see all the problems that you see on those, on those pictures. You see hail damage, which is here. You see burnouts. We've had fires. We've had uh, issues around delamination. We've had all sorts of challenges with the modules themselves. And this is a very common sight as you go around in Germany. Some of the earlier projects that were installed using low quality products and you get this delamination and you get a power drop. So there are eight main problems and only eight problems. One is uh, problems with the junction box and our junction box that we're using um, on the Power Plus is an IP67 junction box. So we've got a submersible potted junction box and that's because you're very likely to use a pressure washer, you're very likely to use a lot of water around these situations and we think well why not make something which is properly waterproof and keeps out the, keeps out the water. Soldered contacts, high quality diodes, and a bit of ventilation, a bit of cooling in there improves performance. You don't want these systems to run particularly hot because this price pressure on some of the Asian manufacturers particularly has got them to take out aluminium from the frame uh, and then they've uh, produced a, a frame with a hollow section through it. Uh, if you have a hollow section you can get water in there and then clearly once the water's in there and we get freezing days you get a, a, a broken frame. So we've got a high quality aluminium frame, is a screwed fixing which is better for earth, earthing. It's also a, a more robust solution than just a, 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 climp, a, a crimping or a clamping. And we're seeing short circuits and so hot spots on products and bits of solder left around. So our plant um, at Frankfurt Oda is fully automated. We're using robots as you can see to do the soldering uh, and the layout and then we're using some good old manual labour to check things. Um, you get imprecise cell location, you get um, cells that, that are clearly not lined up properly. It's about the systems that we use um, in, in the factory, using high resolution cameras as well as, as, well as people to check out the, uh, check out the quality. Delamination is when this glass cell backing sheet system fails. Um, we get air bubbles and basically the performance suffers. And again, this is about using the right materials, the quality materials, uh, and putting them together in the, in the right way. Micro cracks, which are maybe the worst problem here, because you can't see them. But they're usually a problem around transportation. And the important thing is, is the quality of the, the wrapping and the packing and the quality of the transport and the controls that they use when they send it on to Amber Green and onto your installation. Degradation of connectors between the, between the cells. We, we rule that out really by testing and retesting. We can run cycles of hot and cold, we can run cycles of hum high humidity and low humidity, um, and we can simulate a, a very tough environment. Anti-reflective coating, and that's just a very thin film on top of the glass, degrades, uh, then you've clearly got a performance drop. The reason they use anti-reflective coating is just to give the product a higher score when it's brand new. So from that, we ended up building quality solar modules, uh, quality Conergy branded inverters, and the mounting systems to go, and the monitoring systems to go, to go on from there. So for the Power Plus, we bring together this high quality on the left-hand side, as I've talked about, just a positive power tolerance. So if we say it's a 250, it's a 250 or better. High quality connectors, and all the things I've talked about. Together with the automated manufacturing, and our quality management ends up with a, a failure rate of 0.04%, where 
the industry average seems to be about 1%. So we're backing up the, the product quality with a, a thing called the Premium Plus Warranty. <coughs> Talking about a 12-year warranty, uh, one which is straightforward and transparent. We'll give you the same modules back should something fail, not another type of module. We take up all the costs of transport. We take up the amber green costs of going back on site. Uh, we'll accept the opinion of your expert electrician rather than keep arguing about it. If, it. if it doesn't work, if the quality is not there, we'll replace it without, without argument. We'll transfer the warranty to somebody else. Should you sell your solar installation to an investor or somebody else, then the warranty goes with them. And we've got an online registration system to make that all very straightforward.